It's chapter 18, example 4. So what we need to do here is come up with an interface for this circuit. So let's just give that a start here. And it has, circuit has two 10-bit inputs, A and B. And let's see what's coming out in this thing. They're going to be 10-bit output, two 10-bit outputs as well. Okay, so this is a the outputs 10 bits also I just arbitrarily call them a valve and NB valve so what's going on here is is we're gonna look at these two inputs and if they're equivalent we're gonna change the sign and then output a and B otherwise we're gonna output them without changing the sign Obviously, uh, in the circuit, we're going to need a comparator somewhere because it has to see if they're equivalent. Additionally, I feel like it has two outputs. Each of those outputs, for example, this, this output, it's either going to output A or the two's complement of A or B and the two's complement of B. So I, it seems pretty obvious there are two muxes on the output, so we can draw those two muxes. And knowing that the output from these muxes is the output from this this final circuit worried about how these are controlled later we well, need to do a little bit of stuff this is either going to output a we can actually fill these in so the problem is allowing me to use the two's complement box without defining it so i'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that so the b input here is going to be very similar my two's complement input Let's get some bus widths up here. This two's complement circuit, of course, is performing the two's complement. Uh, what we're interested in is what's going to control these muxes here. Now, what's going to control them is going to be the output of a comparator because up here it says if they're equivalent, do something, otherwise do something else. So I know the equivalent output of this comparator is going to control these two muxes. And uh, check this out. See this fancy way of connecting the control signals between those muxes? You'll see that occasionally in diagrams. We're going to use it for this, this diagram as well. So what we're going to do is grab these two signals here, both A and B. It doesn't really matter how we put it there because how we input that because we're interested in knowing when they're equal. And uh, there, there you have it. Almost done in this thing. What I need to do is take a guess of how these are going to be controlled so i'll just once again i'll just take a guess i know they're the same for each mux but i'll just take i'll write it down once in case i'm wrong so if a and b are equal it's going to choose b and that's wrong a and b are equal it was, it's going to choose uh, this b to fed directly through it and that's not what the problem says so both of these need to be in the other direction it needs to be zero and one a and B are equal it changes the sign before it outputs it and that's what I want to do for both of these zero and one uh, done with a circuit anything else I can do on this one I always put lots of bus bars in there it always helps okay lastly how is this controlled I got two muxes the muxes have control inputs what's controlling those muxes the output of this comparator which is an internal signal so this is this circuit has internal control and we were going to call this done.